Hi everybody, so today I will be covering fraction basics. This is a video that you can follow along with, so grab a piece of paper and a pencil and let's get started. So what is a fraction? A fraction is part of a whole. So let's look at this square. This square is the whole. Now if we split this square down the middle, we have two parts. Okay, and those two parts are equal to the whole. Okay, you have to have both of those pieces to make the whole. So if we have one of those parts, which you can see I'm doing an orange here, I'm outlining that one part. How would we write that one part as a fraction? We would write it as one over two or one half is how you would say that. Okay, we would do that because you have one part of the two pieces. Okay, so if we have this square and we split it into six pieces, which I'm gonna do here. Okay, and you might have done this differently by doing them all in the same line and that's okay. So, I'm going to shade in or color in four of those six pieces. I'd like you to do the same with yours. Okay, color in four of those six pieces. Okay, now how would we write if we had four of those six pieces? How would we write that as a fraction? I want you to think for a minute. We would write it as four over six, and you'd say that as four sixths, okay? You do that because you have four of the pieces colored in of the six pieces. Okay, so let's talk about equal pieces. When we split something into equal pieces, when we split something, every piece needs to be equal, okay? So let's practice here. So we're going to look at this circle, and this circle is split into two equal pieces, and we're going to shade in one of those two pieces. So what fraction is colored in? Okay, I want you to think about that. It'd be one over two. We would do that because you have one of the two pieces colored in. And you can see here I'm pointing out that each of those pieces is equal to one half. Okay, so let's look at this square. If you have this square and you split it into four equal pieces. Okay, so you have four equal pieces. Now let's color in three of those pieces. Okay, now what fraction of that is colored in? Okay, again, it would be 3 over 4 because you have 3 of the 4 pieces colored in. Okay, the top number represents what's colored in. The bottom number represents the total number of pieces you have. So here you can see I'm pointing out that's where the 3 comes from and that's where the 4 comes from. Okay, there's 4 pieces total. Okay, let's look at this circle. If we split this circle into two pieces and we color in both of those pieces, color in two of the pieces, what fraction of those two pieces is colored in? Okay, it would be two over two. And that's because two of the two pieces is colored in. Okay, two over two is also equal to the whole. The whole was the circle, and if you colored in the whole circle, that's the same thing as what you did. Okay, let's review. A fraction is part of a whole. If we write a fraction with the pieces over the total number of pieces. Sorry, we write a fraction with the pieces we have over the total number of pieces. And all the pieces need to be equal in size. Thank you so much for watching Fraction Basics. Please subscribe and comment any questions or video requests you have. And thank you again.